One tough little girl is recovering after a dog attack Sunday at a local restaurant. And KEZI 9 news anchor Chelsea Deffenbacher has her story. Five-year-old Bristol Black is as strong as they come, recovering at her Vanita home after a dog bit her in the face last Sunday. Bristol was at the P.F. Chang's on Coburg Road in Eugene with her family celebrating her great-grandfather's birthday on the back patio. Celebrating... You know, his birthday was a normal Sunday, getting ready to go to the Oregon Ducks uh, basketball game where Bristol was going to cheerlead at halftime with the Oregon Ducks cheerleader. She was super excited for that. But the afternoon quickly turned into a nightmare when her grandfather's dog unexpectedly snapped at the little girl while the food was being served. Dog is a Great Dane who had been around the family for years and had never shown any signs of aggression. The family says it hits a comfort animal for his owner. Um, didn't realize how bad it was until she looked up at me and started screaming. Bristol was rushed in an ambulance to Riverbend Hospital and then into surgery where doctors put 19 stitches into her face. Seven hours later, Bristol was released to go home. Her parents said the entire time at the hospital, Bristol was reassuring her parents rather than the other way around, telling them she was okay, that it didn't hurt, and that she was going to be just fine. She even had the nurses singing her favorite Ellen Jackson song, Chattahoochee, with her as she was going under. It was exciting to be in the ambulance. The doctors were really nice. The dog is under a 10-day quarantine at home, something that the Black family elected for, given the nature of the dog's relationship to her family and his lack of past incidents. Cheyenne Black said it's a tragic situation and something she wouldn't wish on any family. She said if it had been any other dog, that they would have likely chosen a much different outcome. It always depends on, you know, what happened, um, what was the level of the bite. Um, Eugene Animal Welfare Officer Deb Sporge says it doesn't matter if the animal is a comfort animal or a service pet. It needs to be licensed and follow the same laws as all other pets, such as being on a leash. She said it's up to the individual businesses to determine if comfort animals are allowed on the premises. In the city of Eugene, a comfort animal is not considered a service animal. Reporting in Vanita, this is Chelsea Deffenbacher for KEZI 9 News. Bristol's parents say she miraculously hasn't needed any pain medications since she's been home and has been playing as usual. She's excited to return to her pre-K class at O'Hara Catholic School and get back to her friends. And according to the CDC, more than 4.5 million people report being bitten by a dog every year in the U.S. 800,000 of them need medical attention. Most of them are children. Only 4% of dog bite deaths were not caused by family pets.